Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lawrence Training Academy. I am here with my Elite 7 Ti. Now, I wanted to make a quick video for you all uh, to show you how to do a touchscreen calibration. It's actually a really simple thing to do on it, and it can actually make some pretty big impacts on the unit itself. You know, if you ever notice, usually maybe at the beginning of the next season, uh, taking it back out, when you touch on the screen, you may notice that it's having a hard time uh, picking up your touches, or whenever you do touch on it, you know, it's actually uh, picking up like a spot below where you're touching it. It just doesn't seem to be very accurate. So you can do the simple touchscreen calibration on it, and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to turn your unit off. We're going to turn it off here. And then once it's off, what you're going to do is you're just going to simply press and hold down on this flag button right here. And then you're going to press and release on the power button, but you're going to continue to hold down the flag button. All right, now that you heard the little double chirp, you're going to let go of that button and they're just going to let it sit here and wait. You're going to see that the little calibration screen will come up on its own. It usually takes about 20 seconds or so uh, for it to load up. So we'll give it just a second here. All right, so now you see it. Now you're going to see a little crosshair up here. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to touch the little crosshair. Now it's going to jump around on the screen here. And it's going to move all around. And what you're going to want to do is touch it as accurately as possible because you're calibrating where the touches actually are on the screen itself. And then one more time in the middle here. All right. And then you're going to see the crosshairs are going to go away and then you're just going to let it sit for a second. And what it's doing is it's recalibrating itself kind of on the back end. Now, I want to let you know that this works the same on both the TI and the TI2, as well as with all of the HDS touchscreen models. Now, with the HDSs, they don't have the little crosshairs that pop up. You'll actually get this big circle with a line through it with like a hand uh, indicating not to touch the screen because it does its own kind of self-calibration. Uh, but the Elite TIs and, well, I guess even the HDS 7 Gen 2 is the same way. It has the little crosshairs that come up. But So once it's done, then you can just tap on here and hit accept. Now, when you tap on it, it's going to be far more accurate and precise uh, as it's supposed to be. And so uh, it's as simple as that. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I've talked to a lot of guys who are having issues with the screen not working correctly um, on it. And so I just wanted to point that out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, uh, be safe out there. All right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. This will allow you to get notifications every time I release a new training video for your favorite Lowrance product. Also, I wanted to give you guys some really exciting news. We will have our very own website pretty soon, LawrenceTrainingAcademy.com. It's going to have even more of your favorite in-depth, comprehensive training videos, so keep an eye out. Of course, I'll be sure to let you all know along the way when it will be up and running. And don't forget, when you watch videos from Lawrence Training Academy, the difference is night and day. Alright, I'll see you all next time.